Most surgeons, even very experienced ones, will say, well, I feel the pulse and that means that there's good flow. It can be argued differently that certainly excellent pulses can be obtained if there is peripheral resistance, and the maximum peripheral resistance is if there is a blocked vessel or graft. So, from an evidential point of view, a palpable pulse is not proof of blood flow. To prove there is flow, you need to use a Doppler probe. You see, a lot of very good surgeons would disagree with that, but additional reassurance can be gained when you hear a good flow particularly if on some of the grafts you actually use a vasodilator, such as papaverin. Then you can actually hear that there's no peripheral resistance. If you increase peripheral resistance to a maximum, for example when putting a cross-clamp distal to the anastomosis, you can see and feel a fabulous pulse, but in reality there is no flow. In fact, the better the pulse means the higher the peripheral resistance. The Doppler proof is invaluable.